What's up guys, this is Gummon from SRK Sneak Tech Talk. For today's mod, I'm going to show you how to make a tournament legal 6 axis controller. In order to make a tournament legal 6 axis controller, we have to convert it from being wireless to become wired. This is the part list for this mod. You will need a 6 axis controller, the MC Cthulhu, a USB cord, a 20 pin ribbon connector, and you will need wiring. Not this much, of course. The tools we will be using in this mod is a heat gun, wire stripper, soldering iron, a knife, a precision screwdriver set, glue gun, and my favorite tool, the Dremel. The first step in this mod is to remove the screw terminals and the USB jack. In order to remove the screw terminals, you'll need to heat up the pins, melt up the solder, and at the same time using a screwdriver to pry off the screw terminals. And now we have to do that nine more times. I have now finished removing the screw terminals off the board. I'd have to say it is a pretty difficult task in removing them. Don't worry about damaging the contact pads for the screw terminals as we will be dribbling them off. Next we will remove the USB jack from the board. There are six points holding the jack in. There, there, these four. The easiest method I found was using a heat gun to target this area and letting all six solder joints melt and then prying off the USB jack. Before we remove the USB jack, we want to take out the microcontroller. We don't want to cause any extra heat to be targeted on the chip and potentially damaging it. You can use a small flathead screwdriver to pry it out. I have the USB jack removed. I kind of figure out that once the plastic in the USB jack is melting, that's when it's hot enough to pry it off. We had four casualties from the heat gun attack. Uh, diodes one, two, three, and four have fallen off. We need this, my Dremel, the holiest tools of every holy tool in the toolbox. And then we get a Dremel with this. We're gonna Dremel off. So I can fit in. Here we go. If that was confusing, 
take a look at this diagram. The board is now finished being cut down to compact size. It is now small enough to fit inside the controller and is ready to be wired up. The board's all ready. Now you need to put the chip back in. There's not just on the socket and the chip that has made the orientation. There. All I gotta do is line them all up. And... All right, we need to get the controller open. It's fairly simple. There's five screws holding the case together. And then there's like one screw holding the, the PCB inside. Take all that out and you get access to the front part. We need to take out the ribbon. Alright, we need to do that same cut on up, down, left, right, circle, square, X and triangle, and also the L1, L2, R1, and R2. But we do not have to do it for the start, select, and home. In order to get to the plastic on the triggers, we have to remove them. Alright, now we're ready to put it back into the controller. Make sure to put the triggers back on. Now we need to glue the brace into the pad. There's multiple spots you'll need to glue. I have the ribbon sheet and the brace put back inside the controller. I've glued it down at several key locations to make sure that it won't come out. I also have the MC Cthulhu put in place of where it's going to be installed. It'd be a good idea right now to put both halves of the controller back together to make sure that everything closes properly. I did manage to run to a small problem with three plastic pillars that got in the way. I ended up using my soldering iron to melt them down. You might want to use a Dremel or anything else your imagination can come up with.